Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be going over a lovely collaboration with the Wales Bonner uh, and Adidas team on the Samba Silhouette this time around in the pony texture, but this is the leopard print. Let's take a quick sneak peek. <music> Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome in. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and be sure to hit that like button if you do enjoy these reviews and styling segments. Today we're going to be going over the Wales Bonner collaboration with Adidas on the Samba silhouette, which as you probably have seen by now is one of the silhouettes that the Adidas team has been pushing all year round and Wales Bonner seems to be up there with, I feel like the most popular collaborations done on this silhouette this year. So we'll go through the overview of this leopard print, then we'll talk about size and fit on these, followed by how I style this really fun, quirky pattern and color scheme, and then we'll conclude with how crazy well these are doing on the resale market. Let's jump right into it. So as far as color schemes go, this did release in four different colorways. So there was a white tone in this pony texture as well as a black and a brown. Uh, I did go for the black haired pony uh, tone just because I felt like that was the most neutral and subdued color scheme that I feel like I could match, match with everything. But I also really was drawn towards this leopard print. I think that this is such a fun pairing and I think that Wales Bonner really killed it with this aesthetic. So as far as the texture goes, the complete upper is uh, fully filled with this pony hair and the leopard print material. So very high quality, very soft to the touch. And then we've got some nice chocolatey brown laces with a cream high quality premium leather tongue. And we've got some nice stitching on the outskirts of the tongue here and a nice cream tone. And then we've got the dual branding of Wales Bonner and Adidas on that nice chocolatey brown uh, embroidered uh embroider tag there and then we've got an additional pair of laces that are in a cream tone we've got whales bonner on the lace tips here which you also have that on the brown pair as well and then we do get a duster bag which is very high quality as you can see here with that lace uh or the toggle here and then we've got the dual branding for adidas and whales bonner in this nice christmasy colorway all right let's take a look at those details then move along to the side panels Wrapping around to the side panels, more of that beautiful pony texture in this nice leopard print pattern. And then we've got some nice smooth tumbled leather in this cream tone and then some nicely embroidered uh, stitching in black. And then as we wrap around to the back, same color scheme for the cream leather on the back with some lighter cream stitching and then the same color palette on the lateral side of the sneaker. One of the parts of the sneaker where the color scheme really is a little bit polar opposite is on the interior, but I really actually love this light blue tone with the leopard print. I 
I feel like it just goes so well. And this metallic, beautiful satin tone actually I felt like works quite nicely with these eyelets here, which are in a sparkly gold tone as well, giving it more of an upscale, I feel like luxurious look. And you know, this was a little bit on a higher price point. So I feel like they definitely added some nice quality, but also again, some nice different textures to give it more of a kind of designer feel and look to it. The interior has a nice pearlescent white tone and then the Adidas and Wales Bonner logo is in black and the sneaker is brought together with this beautiful translucent gum bottom. As far as the box goes, we do have dual branding with Adidas and Wales Bonner and a nice chocolatey brown and a nice yellow hue. Let's take a look at those last and final details then jump into size and fit. it goes I typically go half a size down with my Sambas but I will say that this round of Sambas runs very small so I would say stick true size on this one okay so before I jump into how I style the sneaker I do want to mention that I have a collaboration coming out later this month with Apothecary and Seth Fowler so for this sneaker I decided to style each uh, of my looks with this beautiful beige toned pair of slouchy socks. So these socks are not only amazingly thick and comfortable, but they've got such cool branding with Apothecary and of course our shade logo on the bottom of the sock itself, but you won't see any branding at the top. So I wanted to keep it very monochromatic and neutral, but these are perfect for tones like this leopard print are just simple uh, toned sneakers that you may have in your current collection, but again, just a great warm sock for the holiday season. So keep an eye out for when these will officially release later this month. All right, so now let's jump into styling. Again, a very fun, quirky looking sneaker with the patterns, the textures. It's really crazy, so I feel like you don't need to hold back with this sneaker. Really just have fun with it. I sure did. For the first look, I really wanted to match the texture and leopard print, so I went with a maxi satin dress and a leopard print with a nice, just simple black bomber as a nice layering portion to that first look. look I decided to wear a nice light brown oversized knitted sweater that had some nice black hues to it and then I wore a nice maxi cargo pleated wrap skirt in a brown tone I feel like a lot of brown hues will work quite nicely lighter browns darker browns khaki shades just because it complements the leopard print tones of the sneaker itself last and final look I decided to wear a nice just simple monochromatic look which was a really cool textured dark brown uh, sweater maxi dress nice and fun to be able to dress this up so you can wear dresses with this you can keep it casual uh, just feel free to go all out with it just because it is fun and quirky
So as far as the resale goes on these, these retailed at 220. This was the highest price point uh, color scheme out of the four pairs that released. Uh, as far as I feel like what sold out the first, this was definitely one of the colorways I feel like most people were going after as well as the black pair. Uh, this is currently going between 250 to 450 on the resale market. So congrats to anybody who's able to cop these. These are doing crazy right now in that resale market showing that this was a very difficult colorway uh, to get. So you are very lucky if you were able to snag a pair of this drop. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. Again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that right now, as well as give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will catch you all next episode. Living in a dream where nothing is extreme.